Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint an abstract poppy field. So let's do it! Okay, so to start I'm just going to go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper taped down to a cardboard piece. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of wet on wet, so to avoid major warping with my paper, I taped it down. I have my Winsor Newton Common watercolors, and I have my Princeton Snap brushes. I have a size 16, a size 6, and I'm actually going to use this mop brush to lay down that water initially. If you don't have a big mop brush, you can just use your biggest brush that you have. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is lay down my water. And I actually might just pick up a bit of color just so you can see where my water is going. And the background's going to be yellow. So I'm going to be doing kind of a version of this beautiful poppy field photo that I found on Pinterest. Um, I'm going to try to make it a bit more abstract, but we're just going to see how this goes. <laughs> so I'm going to lay down this color or just your fresh water. Okay. And the trick with uh, wet on wet is that you don't want your paper sopping wet, okay? Um, so if you tilt your paper and a bunch of water is rolling down and dripping off, that's too much water. So in case, in that case, just mop it up with maybe some paper towel and just evenly distribute that water all over your page, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to lay down some of that background color. So I'm going to take some yellow. And I'm going to put it up here because in this photo, it looks like it's kind of like a sunset almost. It's really beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to drag it down. Maybe a sunrise, actually. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so I have some yellow and then I'm going to grab a bit of orange. Bring it to the middle. And just blend it out. Like that. And I'm going to take some green down at the bottom not too much green took some sap green so I used some cadmium yellow cadmium orange and now I have some sap green I'm gonna take some of that water off my brush okay so now that I've laid down my color we're gonna do some poppies in the background that are kind of faded they're gonna be out of focus Okay, so in order to do that, you're gonna leave your paper wet and you're gonna drop some red color in the background and it's gonna make that kind of wet on wet effect where it seeps out or like blooms, um, but it's gonna look like it's out of focus. So pick an area where you want your foreground poppies to be, so maybe one in the front, maybe one up here, and then just do some other poppies off to the side your red maybe you can have one down here and you got to move kind of quick so it doesn't dry and you don't want to add too much water to these poppies because then it will be more wet than the first layer and it will leave those weird blooms I mean it's okay if it happens don't worry about it too much because it is just the background, but you still want to move kind of quick so you're working with the same kind of wetness. Okay, okay. So there's my poppies in the distance. Now I'm just going to take some of my sap green and I'm going to do some stems that are also going to be out of focus. Okay. And then you can do some other ones here with like buds. On the end, some poppies that haven't bloomed. Just gonna make these a bit sharper. And I'm gonna leave this area open for the poppy in the foreground. Okay. And then I'm gonna do also some more stems here. And I actually might darken down here too with some green. Might get my darker, not my darker, my bigger brush for that. Just 
gonna add some texture to the background of green, like it's the field, okay? And so this should look like it's poppies out of focus, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna add a tad bit more red in some of these areas, just because when it does dry, it will fade a bit. I'm just gonna add a bit more red. Not a lot of water, okay? Because the more water you add, it will push that color away and create those blooms that you don't necessarily want, okay? Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna leave this to completely dry. Okay, so now that it's completely dry, we're gonna do the poppies in the foreground, but we're still gonna make them kind of abstract, okay? We're gonna have a little fun with this. It's not gonna be a realistic painting. So I'm gonna take my size 10 brush actually to do this. And I'm gonna wet it. I'm gonna dip it in this light wash of red. And I am going to, oh, Nope. And I'm gonna make a petal shape down here. This is gonna be kind of more of an open poppy. And then a petal shape, I'm gonna get more of a light wash. Petal shape up here, petal over here. Like that. Then I'm gonna wash off my brush, clean water, and I'm gonna just drag out that color a bit. Okay? So you shouldn't see necessarily the edge of those poppies. And now I'm just gonna take my red and I'm gonna drop in that color right at the base. I'm gonna let it seep to those edges, but I am also going to let it tilt. I'm gonna tilt my painting like this. Maybe drop a bit more. I'm gonna draw some lines. Okay, it's hard what to do to tilt when it's all taped down. Okay, I'm gonna kind of blend out these lines. Not feeling them. I'm just gonna go over this base one. I'm gonna drop in some red. And I'm just gonna blend out those edges. I don't want it to be so harsh. Okay, I want this to be more of an abstract poppy. Now I'm gonna do another one up here, but I'm gonna do the side view. So I'm gonna do a petal. Wash off my brush. I'm gonna blend out that edge. And I'm going to drop in some more red at the base. might do too is I might tap some little red marks it's gonna blend out these edges it's all about blending out those edges okay like that and then I'm gonna let Actually, no, I'm gonna do the stems. So I'm gonna take my sap green here. 
and maybe a bit of Hooker's Green Dark just to make it a bit darker. I'm just going to draw, paint a stem. And it can bleed a little bit. And I'm gonna do another one here. And it's gonna bleed into the bottom of that petal because you would see that part because it's the side view. Like that. I don't know if I'm a fan of it bleeding into this petal. So I'm actually gonna pick that up. I'm also going to start painting other little stems that would be in the foreground. Okay, with some sap green. Then I'm gonna go back in with my Hoker's Green Dark to the base of that those buds. Okay. I'm gonna blend this one out. And have a stem going. Like that. That's too thick. I'm just gonna mop it up. Try again. Put a bit of darkness at the base of this one too. You can always have another bud over back here and have it a little bit more abstract like these poppies and just wash your brush off and then blend out that edge and then drop in the color of that base and let it bleed and see where it goes okay oops okay so now I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and then I will do a bit more detail once it's dry. Okay, it's completely dry. I think I'm gonna add another petal to this one. Like make it a little um, layered, have some layered petals. So I'm just gonna go over it with a light wash first for that petal. Then I'll go back in oops, and drop in some of that darker red. Okay, might do the same thing. Another one over here. Like that. Hmm. And then while this one is dry, I am going to add the center. So I'm gonna take some black and I'm just going to do some dots that kind of form that center like that, okay? Like that. And then what I might try and do is while it's also dry, those petals are completely dry, I'm gonna take a very light wash on the tip of my brush and I'm just going to do some lines on these poppies. Very, very fine with the tip of my brush, okay? And have those lines curve with the curve of the petals, okay? Might go even a little bit darker, especially towards the center of the flower and the base there. Like that. So it's like kind of abstract, but it's also like it has little bits of detail, right? I'm gonna get a darker brown for the base here. that. So I'm really just using the tip, like the few hairs on the tip of this brush 
to get those really fine lines, barely touching the paper. Okay. And again, I'm gonna take some light wash, an even lighter wash for the tips up here. And I'm just gonna bring some more lines down. from the tips of the petals. Okay. Just gonna leave some red there and blend it out. Maybe like this one starting to bleed, or bleed, <laughs> bloom. Just gonna add some clean water here. And then I'm gonna add a bit of red and that can bloom out. So it looks like that bud is starting to bloom. Okay. Like that. And I think, I think it's pretty, pretty good. So now, hmm, I'm just making sure I'm done first. Okay. I think I'm done. So now I get to take the tape off. And you can definitely add more like grass bits too, if you want, down here. Maybe I'll just add some lighter ones. using a really light wash so it also looks like it's kind of in the background it's just not out of focus okay just to add some texture down there You can stop and be done whenever you feel done. <laughs> Just wanted a bit more red here. There. Okay. And I think, I think I'm done. Nope. I keep looking at it and I keep seeing things that I want to add. Just more detail on these petals. There you go. Okay. Now I think I'm done. <laughs> and there is your abstract. Oops. Poppy field just in time for Remembrance Day or Veterans Day. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day, guys. What are you doing? Bye.